Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you the power of Gemini 1.5 from Google. What's so great about this is that it's a true native multimodal model. So it can deal with text, uh, you know, CSVs, PDFs, etc. But it can also deal with uh, image files, images, PNGs, JPEGs, video files, audio files, you name it through just one model, Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now, Gemini, Gemini 1.5 Pro is the original model, uh, but then now there's a, air quote, a lighter version, Gemini 1.5 Flash, and uh, but they're both quite strong, pretty much the same thing. The other great thing about Gemini 1.5 is that it has a very large context window. One million tokens is the limit. Today, 1.5 Pro actually has two million uh, context window but that's only available through Vertex AI and only through certain developers. So I, mean, I have access to it, but 1.5 Pro and 1.5 Flash, which are widely available, has 1 million tokens that equal, that pretty much equals 700,000 words or so, hour worth of video, 11, 11 hours of audio, etc. So that's another great point about it. The other, th other is more technical. What I like about this is that it's, built on both the transformer architecture and the MOE. And I have done a video about Gemini 1.5. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But those, but using, uh, you know, advancements or not advancements, but technologies like MOE architecture along with transformers, get, makes it really, really powerful. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you a couple of quick stats on that. And essentially what this means is forget reg this context window and the and the fact that it's uh, built on both transformer and MOE architectures, you know, you really don't need to be doing reg unless you got, you know, whole lot of files like you know, 300 PDF files, etc. Then you know, you're still going to have to do some reg. But for 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 most use cases, forget reg. Hey, before I get going or actually continue with my video here, hey, please like this video if you find it useful and helpful, and consider subscribe subscribing to my channel so here I want to show you something here's what's uh, what what Google has to say about the 1.5 model you know it, it has a context window uh, up to a million tokens and that you know is roughly one hour video etc I already told you that uh, 1.5 Pro in Vertex uh, Cloud is already up to 2 million and they've been testing up to 10 million tokens which I'm sure at some point in time will become widely available it's really good at uh, complex reasoning uh, about vast amounts of information here. And they're you know, pointing out some things that they've done, but it really is good. And here's something from their technical report and why I think really don't need to be doing any reg at all. Let Gemini 1.5 Pro take care of it for you. So they fed a 710,000 uh, uh, tokens into the context window and uh, did a bunch of Q&A over it. And compared that to where they had done reg uh, of 4,000 contacts, etc. You know, I'm going to leave you a link to all these things that I'm showing you here. Essentially, what this chart is saying is that without any reg, just feed the whole document, the book, whatever, a whole lot of PDFs, etc. That will do three times better than if you actually were doing reg. So why do reg, right? So there you go. Anyway, let me show you the power. Uh, of, of Gemini 1.5 by running through some examples here. So let's first start with uploading a bunch of documents here. So I have some uh, quarterly earnings call scripts from Citibank uh, publicly available, and I'm going to load up, and let's load up three of them here. And I hope that's not what I want to do. I want to take this two and take this three. They're sort of sequential, and I've done this with like, you know, up to like eight quarters, eight files, eight PDFs, which, you know, like roughly 400,000 or so tokens. Um, there's a whole lot of folks who have used up, used, you know, close to a million tokens, and it does a great job. So let me start with a, um, so we got three documents here, three quarterly earnings call scripts from Citibank, and so I'm going to ask it to summarize some key themes and uh, summarize each document and key themes and highlights, etc. and Let's see what it comes back with. Um, it does a fantastic job. And now all of this without doing any reg. So while that thing is doing that, uh, retrieving the answer, your classical reg, like 
if, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically, let's say in this case, I have those three PDF files. I would, you know, those are my three documents. I would use some middle layer like Langchain to uh, chunk up the documents uh, because, you know, just a year ago, July of last year, July of 2023, models had, you know, their limit, the limits were up to like at that point in time, let's say 16,000, maybe let's say even 32,000 token context windows, uh, you know, and the, I could never upload three documents without going through a reg. So basically the way reg works is you take those three documents, you know, chop them up into diff uh, some size chunks, you know, chunks of thousand tokens, etc., And then you get a retrieve embeddings for those uh, chunks and store them, store them in a vector database. And the question that I just asked, I would ask that question. My question, you would embed, we would need to embed that using some uh, embedding met methodology, go up against the vector database and find so, you know, let's say top five chunks uh, that likely has your answer to the question. So then you retrieve those five chunks, the text, the chunks in text, um, and along with your question, all of this in a text format now, uh, feed all of that into LLM. The problem um, was the reason you did this was that this window here was, let's say, most 32,000. So you had to go through this methodology, a whole lot of work for something, you know, this guy's this 1.5 says, I don't care. I'll do all that without you chunking the documents and basically took my request here, summarized each quarter, Q3, Q4, Q1, and gives an oral summary, etc. Now, you know, that's, that's great, right? So let me show you in reality, a whole lot of times I'm dealing with PDFs that has charts and tables and sometimes things are fancy and fancy like this, where there are charts that show like a uh, some color um, colors that indicate whether something is good, you know, neutral, bad, etc. So how would it work with something like that? All right, let's actually bring up that article. And uh, there's some research I was able to pull from online. Uh, I think in this case it was from Goldman. All right, so the question I'll ask here is... Uh, in this case, let's see, in this asset class outlook, which is really fancy, you know, different uh, asset classes. It gives a short-term, long-term sort of uh, forecast or, you know, how favorable the forecast is short-term, uh, et cetera, from, uh, more favorable, et cetera. So let's try a question here. To the, something like uh, explain the asset class outlook table. Um, and provide key points. All right, so hey, while this is happening, as always, I'm going to leave you the code that created this Streamlit app uh, that takes advantage of Gemini 1.5 Pro. And towards the end of, end of my video, I'm going to show you my GitHub repo because I need to explain to you there are two codes that, I'm, uh, that I've uploaded there and what the differences are, so I'll explain that later. So here you go. Now it goes through and U.S. equity is less favorable in the short term, more favorable in the long term. U.S. equity is shorter term, pink, less favorable, green, longer term, right? This thing is good at all of this, you know, going through charts and tables, you know, as complex as they may be. All right. Um, so I'm just using a 1.5 flash versus a pro. What I have found is that 1.5 pro uh, will deal with you on even like a lot more complexity. Uh, is better dealing with uh, complex things that uh, its latency is, you know, cause it takes a little bit longer <laughs> than 1.5 flash, which is air quotes, a little lighter version. Uh, so let's try an uh, image here. And I have some things in here that I could probably, I hear some calculus problem that I uh, have captured in a JPEG file, solve this, uh, problem uh, explain step by step something like that I don't know uh, prompting is always important but you know with this MOE architecture again I'm leaving I will leave a description uh, a link in my description below that explains 1.5 and this MOE architecture but this MOE architecture and the uh, transformer architecture combination sort of like you know it could be um, your prompts are important, but um, it, an MOE architecture is really good at like you know, taking a simple prompt like this. And 
uh, taking care of it. So this this is a problem that would uh, uh, require using the chain rule and it kind of breaks out you know, f of x and g of x and how to solve that. But yeah, yeah, it's correct. Video files. All right. So and we're just using. I'm not changing the model. It's just using 1.5 Flash, or I could have used 1.5 Pro. Um, here's something I have here. There, it, the multimodality is great, right? So you can do Q and A or video files. Like you could ask questions, summarize this video. You know, more important. What's really cool about this 1.5 Pro model is that, I mean, you can actually get to timestamp level. Say what was said said at one minute and 33 seconds, right? Etc. Uh, so in this case, um, what am I going to ask? Uh, uh, transcribe the first 20 seconds of this video. Uh, something like that. Uh, this video is uh, one of my takes on one of my prior videos. So let's see what it comes back with. Well, you can literally interact with this. The uh, power of this uh, Gemini 1.5s. Uh, Multimodality is things like I, I could, you know, and I've done something similar to the following where, you know, take a video of, of making, you know, you're making a s scrambled eggs or something and, um, you know, whatever, you, like whatever you may add in there, etc. And you kind of feed that in here and say, you know, uh, <laughs> what, uh, you know, what did I make and how could I have improved this? Or if I wanted to now, you know, use certain kind of ingredient, ingredients, how could I have you know, incorporated them? Okay, so this is what I had said in my first 20 seconds or so. So you get the gist. I'm going to upload another um, short little MP, MP4 file that I downloaded uh, uh, online. And it's basically a, like 11, 12 second video. Um, and I'm going to ask, uh, you know, um, what beverage is poured into a glass in this video it's it's beer um so let's see if it gets that um right um so it's good at like you know going through a video this is a short little video um beverage being poured into the glass is beer yes correct um <laughs> And uh, lastly, audio files. I just want to demonstrate all the capabilities of uh, Gemini 1.5, all the modalities. So let's see. I have an area. Again, you could have an audio file up to you know 11 hours. That's the context window. It can take up to 11 hours of audio. But you know, this is actually really short. So I'm actually just going to say transcribe the audio. And uh, it's a short little thing, yeah. And that's exactly what it says. I don't know. Let's see if it does that. I actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Power of Gemini 1.5. Hey, he, this video, I did it to showcase the power of Gemini 1.5. And I gave you the reasons that because of its multimodality, the context window, and the fact that it's built with both transformer and MOE architecture, it makes it really good at like working with complex things and it pretty much is the death of reg in my opinion, as long as you know your articles can be uploaded <laughs> with a one million context window. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful and helpful. Please like the video if you did so. Here's my, um, here's the code that, this is the code that generated this app, but I'm using Vertex AI um, API or and which requires that I you know point it to a certain project and all that good stuff but hey if you this requires this if you want to create the same app it's going to require that you have a Google Gemini API key and it's it's free you can just go you know go Google how do I get a Gemini API key and once you get it and you don't want to go through the trouble of you know if you're not a developer like me and you don't have different Google projects etc you just use this code that says not using Vertex AI. And I would say for most of you, you just have a Gem Gemini API key, Google API key, just use this. That's all that's required. And it does the same thing without, you know, uploading things to Vertex AI, etc. cetera. It, it will still take, you know, five, seven, eight, ten PDF files and everything that we did here, it can be done using this code, not using Vertex AI. I'll leave you a link 
to my repo. Hope you found it useful and helpful. Please like the video. Until next time.